is up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Melissa and today we have a thrift haul so I know you guys have been loving vlogmas or if you guys haven't been loving vlogmas then this will be perfect for you because I still wanted to have some sort of consistent like regular content going up because I know not everyone loves vlogs so of course I had to throw in a thrift haul it's been about a month since my last thrift haul which is crazy time literally flies so fast so I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys you guys know the drill I have tons and tons of items that I've thrifted it's all listed up on my Depop but before we get right into this video I want to tell you guys that I have something very special happening this month or when this video goes live there will be something called threads boxes going alive on my Depop and what threads boxes is is it's technically not a subscription service it's a one-time purchase for $59.99 and you'll get five handpicked by me thrifted items how I pick these items is you will answer five questions that that will it will all be explained on my Depop so if you want to go check that out definitely do so there will only be 25 available so if you're into something like that definitely go check that out I also explain it on my trip to the thrift which will be live right now so definitely go check out that after this but without further ado let's get into this video okay, we're gonna start off with some tops so in this section we have sweaters graphic t-shirts athletic sweaters so the first one that I have is a graphic t-shirt it is this coca Coca-Cola graphic t-shirt. I've been loving red and I've been loving Coca-Cola. I've always loved Coca-Cola. Actually, the second one that I've thrifted, it's actually authentic Coca-Cola. I've been loving stripes. You guys are going to see a ton of striped turtlenecks in this thrift haul. Every time I see a striped turtleneck, I have to pick it up and especially green right now. I've been so into green. I think it's because it looks so good with my hair. This striped turtleneck was definitely one that I had to add to my collection. It just gives me the most unit vibes ever. Yet again, another green sweater. These I have actually been seeing in retail stores and they have been in the thrift for years. These are like the old like shiny almost type of material. Not shiny. I don't even know how to explain this material, but I just absolutely fell in love with this bright green. I love the big neck on it also. It's super comfortable. It's not itchy at all. I've been picking up a bunch of these. I actually have another one very similar to show you guys. Okay, this was such a come up. If you saw my trip to the thrift, I think like three times ago almost, or it wasn't a trip to the thrift. It was just me thrifting in one of my vlog messes. You would have seen me pick this bad boy up. This is this amazing yellow Tommy Hilfiger sweater. If this does not scream threads obsessed, I do not know what does. Okay, we have another graphic t-shirt. So this one, I usually don't pick up these t-shirts like recently. A, they're super overpriced at the thrift, but this one was just too cool not to pick up. All right, another striped turtleneck. You guys might get a little bored of these because I have about eight or 10 to show you guys. No, I'm kidding. But this one is another type of striped turtleneck. I love these contrasting colors with like the blue and the darker blue and the white. I just think it's so cute and they're just like really simple, but it makes you look like you're way more put together than you are. That's why I've been picking these up so much and again it just gives me the most unif vibes and again with my hair these cool tones just look so good with red okay so we have yet another Tommy piece it is this incredible big flagged Tommy Hilfiger sweater zip up sweater I think it's so cool I've never found one like this I feel like zip up sweaters are a little bit harder to style obviously but with like just a pair of leggings and just throwing this on you're you're gonna look so bomb and like with a pair of nice sneakers like this just Yes. Okay, I had to get this just because this is the Threads Obsessed sweater. Literally yellow and red colorway with a navy backdrop. This is amazing. It's a v-neck. It even has the yellow and red on the bottom. If this doesn't scream Threads Obsessed, I don't know what does other than the Tommy sweater and the other 10 shirts that I showed you guys. Another Tommy Hilfiger piece. We got this Hilfiger denim hoodie. Very retro looking. This is just something that everybody needs in their wardrobe. Oh, this shirt. Okay, this shirt is one of the coolest shirts that I've ever found at the thrift store. It is this Rugrats shirt. How cool is this? This is just, this is something that you see at Urban Outfitters for like $70. Here's something else that I have recently found. It is this Harley Davidson turtleneck. It's a woman's turtleneck. I know like a lot of people have been into Harley Davidson, at least I have been really into Harley Davidson with like the big logos on the front and stuff, but this is just something very different for Harley Davidson, which I really liked. It's more feminine, you know, so if you're not into like the whole graphic t-shirt type 
something, this would be perfect for you. Like I mentioned before, I am totally into green and this type of looking sweater, again, is similar to that bright green sweater that I showed you, that material. This is more darker green. I love the like stripes on it almost. These sweaters are everything right now. They just look so cute and with my hair, it's just so bomb. This is definitely something a lot more out there, but styled properly, I think that it would look so cool. So it's this leopard, no, it's like zebra. It's like a zebra printed lime green top. Like, does it get any cooler than this? Imagine this with just like some black vinyl pants, um, ass studded boots. <gasps> That's such a look. We just have a basic couple graphic tees. Again, this Esprit denim pink one. You know, just, I love Esprit. I don't know what it is. I just love that brand. And then this one I picked up yesterday. I thought it was really cool and like different. Something that I don't usually get. It's, set, it's just a girl on it and it says cool babe on it. It's be very retro vibe. So I don't know. I thought it would, it was kind of neat. I don't know. It was just like. And the next piece that I picked up is this Hugo Boss sweater. It has a Boss by Hugo Boss all over it. It's just so cool. I love Hugo Boss too. Like I feel like this tucked in with a pair of jeans. So cute. Like a pair of like culotte jeans. You could definitely make this more feminine looking. This would actually look really cute on my boyfriend too, but it's not for him. It's for me. Another funky sweater that I have to show you guys. This one. This one is for the girl who likes a little bit more fun sweaters, but isn't really dabbling into the color just yet. This one is perfect. It has all these like different like shapes in gray and white and black. Again, it's just an oversized sweater, but it will keep you comfortable and you'll look really cute. And found this Converse All Star sweater. Green, for some reason, is just everything to me right now. I feel like it's just like... I look like a Christmas tree and I love it. You can't really tell through the camera, but it's not like, you know when it looks like an iron on, it's actually like the letters are like sticking up and they like put them on. So I feel like this looked like a much better quality sweater. This, again, one of the best sweaters that I have found at the thrift store. It is this authentic Tommy jeans gray turtleneck. I'm sorry, what? Look at that. This is something that I feel like Rachel from Friends had, definitely had in her wardrobe. Like this is just so her. This is so early 90s. I love it so much. This is something that's definitely going to be staying in my wardrobe. And then we couldn't have a haul without a swagger champion hoodie. This is that gray on gray colorway champion hoodie. You know, these have been so big, but if you're not too sure you want to dabble in the full-on champion champion hoodie, this is perfect for you because you got the gray on gray and you can also just slay. <laughs> okay, okay, that was enough. Okay, one of my favorite sweaters, I think I've said that eight times, but one of my favorite colorful striped sweaters that I found is definitely this one. This is literally so cool. I was gonna wear this for this thrift haul, but I thought this was just too much. Everything, I just wish there was some yellow stripage happening. Sadly, no yellow, but this is still the perfect striped sweater. Again, just gives me those like lazy o vibes. I'm into it. Esprit is my dream. Esprit is my brand that I have been into and I found this really like cool big letter Esprit sweater. I feel like ASOS was selling these very similar ones for about $180 and I found this one. Okay, this Tommy sweater. I haven't been picking up as many Tommy sweaters recently because they do get a little bit repetitive but I know you guys love a good Tommy sweater. This just gives me the most Christmas vibes ever. Look at at that arm and then it just has the tart tartan type of vibes down the chest and the arm again different colors and then look at the back of it okay guys I think this is hands down the coolest sweater ever ever okay wrong side look at this baby I'm sorry but you find these sweaters on Urban Outfitters for how much $150? Yeah. It's literally the rainbow dream sweater. Let me know in the comments if you've seen anything more beautiful than this sweater. It's everything. And again, another Harley Davidson piece. It's just this white one with the Harley Davidson right on the pocket. And it is from Tampa. I really wish I started to collect these because I would literally have every state. Okay, this was also a come up. I actually found this sweater, a, a Tommy Hilfiger gray on gray embroidered sweater, which I had already sold on my Depop, unfortunately. So I don't have that to show you guys. And then it also, I found a DKNY one all together. I was literally like, is this a dream come true? And it was the 50% off day at Value Village, which you usually don't find anything. So I found this Calvin Klein jeans sweater. So red 
retro. I love the blue. I love big letters or like big brands right on the chest. So as I just mentioned with the Calvin Klein one, this is the one that I found beside it. It says DKNY jeans again in that blue and black colorway and again with the big old writing right on the front. I have two more athletic type of sweaters to show you guys. So I found this gorgeous cream Nike sweater. Again, if you're not into color, this is perfect for you. I found this blue, navy blue Reebok pullover crew neck. Again, with the big lettering in the front. I can't get over it. I just can't. I love everything with big letters right now. And the last type of like athletic type of wear is this champion gray long sleeve. Very big and long and oversized. You could definitely maybe get away with wearing this as a dress or maybe crop it. I feel like that would be really cute. I have a couple guest pieces to show you guys. So this one <laughs> is green. It looks so cool with my hair on. It's this off the shoulder. Very early to 2000s guest vibes. Similar to that, I found this white hoodie that says guest in that glittery. Font. Again, this is just so cute. I love the white. I love the glitter on it. Okay, and a couple more graphic shirts to show you guys. So this one is really old school Coors Light. I don't know if this was like a refurbished Coors Light top to make it look like it's older if there's if this is actually from the early 90s. I found this New York City ringer tee and somebody wrote and said that it was part of the John Lennon merch which is kind of cool. And then the last one that I found is this white Levi top. I just thought this was so cool. Such an essential. I'm probably going to keep this for myself honestly because I've been wanting a Levi top for so long and I finally found one and it's literally in brand new condition. Okay this is something that I also found on my trip to the thrift and it is this plaid bustier but how amazing would this look like underneath a white turtleneck? How amazing would that look or under like a black turtle or over, I mean over a black turtleneck? I think this would just give the cutest vibes ever. Like even with this turtleneck, like can you see what I'm seeing? Like this is just such a yes. Okay, coming down to the final stretch of the tops. I have three more sweaters to show you guys. Okay, this one is again those stripe vibes. I actually have two striped sweaters to show you guys. This one is in an incredible blue color. This is again, just give me such Unif vibes. I love, love, love stripes. I cannot get over it. I've always been someone to love stripes and especially the last couple months I've been so into stripes and this one right here is literally I'm pretty sure they're selling this on Unif right now because this is too bomb. Again with the green stripes I feel like you guys might hate me because I've shown you guys so much green and so much stripes but like and the last sweater that I have to show you guys is this one. This reminds me of like a Kooji Cosby sweater. I love the subtle color in it. Very vintage, very grunge looking. So I thought this was really cute. I love the little pattern on it too with the gray in between the colors. Okay, moving on to the next section. My personal favorite section. It is the coats and the outerwear section and I have a ton so let's get into it. Okay, the first coat that I found was this green coat. You guys are gonna get so sick of me showing you guys green items, but this was just too cute to pass up. I love the shearling on it. All right, and the next coat that I have to show you guys is this Nautica coat. This was found in the little boy section. Yellow and navy colorway with the big old Nautica right down the sleeves. Okay, we'll just start with this one because we'll just throw in the green on the green on top of the green. So I found this bright green shearling coat. It's corduroy. I've been looking for a bright green corduroy coat for so long and this one has shearling in it and it literally makes me want to cry. This is so perfect. This one is this long denim trench coat. Literally the coolest coat that I've ever found. Like, oh my lord. Look at it. It's just so bougie. And then this coat, which makes me even more excited because if you guys have seen my vlogs or just seen my past videos, you guys know I've been wearing this black faux fur coat literally every single day with the hood found literally the exact same coat in a different color in this like beige color and it has a hood this is perfect for me I'm going to be able to I can literally just go back and forth between each coat they're both neutral colors and they're both comfortable as all heck so I am so pumped that I found this okay and then I also found this coat yesterday which made me want to cry look at it it is this tartan green teddy bear coat 
thank you. Thank you for this. Okay, and then I have another shearling coat, but this time it is in this beautiful baby pink, blush pink color. This just gives me such early 2000s vibe. Obviously came across a good old Levi jacket. This beautiful light wash Levi denim jacket is just such an essential to have in your wardrobe. I personally have my own Levi denim jacket, which was actually my mom's from when she was a like teenager. I have a Levi denim jacket. You literally need one because they last ages and ages and they never ever go out of style. This would not be a haul without some Kappa. I found this beautiful Kappa tearaway, tearaway jacket. This beautiful Kappa windbreaker jacket. No, it's not too too much of a Kappa jacket, but it's just there so they know that you're a hype beast. Two more jackets that I found. This one right here is this vintage Reebok jacket. Look at the sleeves on this. Look at that colorway. This is just way too cool. I had to get it. Look at that. And somebody commented saying, you always look for Coke stuff. Make sure to look for Pepsi. So you know I had to have your back there, girly. I found this Pepsi, if I can find it. It's not Pepsi. Where, where are you? Found this Pepsi jacket. It is this windbreaker blue, navy blue and red Pepsi jacket. So I mean, if you're not into Coke and you're more into Pepsi, this is perfect for you. Okay guys. You're not even prepared for this. I found this champion windbreaker with the big champion on the back. What? I'm sorry. Sorry, who? What? Like, look at that. If you saw my trip to the thrift, you would have seen me pick this bad boy up. It is this yellow and black Adidas Hida. Love yellow. But is this right? Like, this does not look retro. It feels like it's brand spanking new, but it gives me retro vibes. Again, vinyl, such a trend. Obsessed with vinyl, and especially red freaking vinyl. I personally have my own red vinyl coat. I love it. I feel like this is something that is just so special to have in your wardrobe. So, if you're into this, definitely check out my Depop. I am just on a roll with these big logo pieces of clothing. I found this Adidas equipment. It has like the Adidas sign in the front. It's really hard to show you. You can see like the stripes are like here and here. Okay, and this would not also be a haul, a threads haul without some sort of jacket that has to do with racing or NASCAR. So I found this NASCAR Home Depot jacket. This would be actually a dope Christmas present for somebody who's really into racing or NASCAR. It is a collector's item also. It's really cool. It has the big Home Depot on the back. Definitely, if you've been on a hunt for this, definitely check out my Depop. This is just so perfect. They just look like such a badass. I love it and I love the orange on it. I feel like it's just such a cool touch. Okay, the next jacket that I found is like a teddy bear coat, but like a reverse teddy bear coat. It's kind of suede on the outside of it and then on the inside of it, it is teddy bear material. And I love the brown. It's just like have a little bit of the subtleness of the teddy bear. Getting into some more furs or faux furs. So I found this leopardish cheetah print faux fur coat. This is just way too cool. Like this just gives me the most like anthropology type of vibes. Like very hipster. You're into cheetah print and you're into big faux furs. This is perfect for you. Okay, the next coat is literally my pride and joy. Saw this exact coat at one thrift. Didn't get it. Thought about it for a whole entire week regretting that I didn't get it. Then I went to another thrift store and it was there. The exact same jacket. The thrift gods are shining down on me. It is this amazing blue jacket. I literally screamed. This is so perfect. Look at it. it this is the hood on it. It's literally fur. It's so soft. You can wear it this way. So this is on the outside or you can also wear it. So this is on the outside. So it's reversible. They have it so you can wear it both ways. So pumped when I found on this. This is definitely staying in my wardrobe. Okay, another teddy bear coat that I found was this navy blue teddy bear coat. And this color just goes with my hair so well too. Like the cool tones are just filling it. Blue teddy bear coat. These are so expensive, especially if you look online on like IMG or something. So I found this one and I love the color, but I feel like I haven't seen one in this color. Okay, this coat is literally everything. It looks like gross pukey color, but I love it. My gosh, again with those like hipster type of vibes very vintage. I feel like this is definitely from like a very bougie rich old lady who had this coat. Okay, I think this is the last faux fur coat that I found. I've literally been on a hunt for faux fur co coats because I love them. Look at the color of it. I love how it's kind of shaded. The color is so cool. If you're just not sure you want the big old faux fur, you can also go for something like this, which is a little
little bit more subtle. I love the color. It goes with almost everything and it keeps you so warm. I mean, if you do not have a faux fur jacket, you need one in your wardrobe. Okay, moving on to the last couple coats. So cool. It is this checkerboard blue, yellow, and red. Look at the back of it and then look at the front of it. Motor girl, motorsport type of vibes. Up my alley, right? This is like a threads piece. Okay, and the last coat, again, like I said, I have been finding these coats with these big logos on the back of it. And I found, again, another retro Adidas coat jacket. Um, very, very heavy, so you could definitely wear it if you live in a colder place. This is perfect. Love the lime green with the white writing. Okay, moving on to the pantaloons, aka the pants. Found some of the coolest pants ever. So we're just gonna start off with a bang. I found these snake skin wide leg. They kind of have like a semi kick flare to them. Not just like snake skin material, but they feel like le like leather snakes. You know what I mean? Like they have that feel. It's not just a printed pattern. I wish that these fit me so badly. They're just way too big for me and it actually breaks my heart. Okay, the next pair I actually haven't tried on, but if they fit me, I will be keeping them and they're these polka dot culottes. They're semi culottes. They're, they're, they're more like wide leg capri. I guess. Look at the polka dots. I feel like polka dots are kind of underrated and I feel like they're going to be coming back in style. I feel like it's just such a cool pattern and a very easy pattern to like mix and match with. I'm really into mixing patterns and like this is just such a a look. Do you see that? Do you see that? I feel like people are scared of mixing patterns, but polka dots and stripes are a very, very easy pattern to mix with things. Okay, I found the coolest yellow corduroy pants. Not because they're just corduroy pants. They're actually semi-flared at the bottom, again with that semi-kick flare. They're actually like a little bit cropped too, so you can wear like a cute pair of boots with them. Again, just another pair of corduroy pants, but this time in this beautiful chocolate brown color, chocolate brown, chocolate brown color, such an essential in the wardrobe, especially for the winter and fall time. Okay, these pants again are really, really cool. I've never found any like it. They are like snake skin almost, I feel. I don't even know how to describe it. They're like a plum purple color. They're so beautiful. And again, with that like semi kick flare, I feel like since I dyed my hair, I've been wearing like more browns and like hipster type of look. I don't know why. This, these pants are something else that would look really cool on. Love the like little like hidden stripes on them. They're just perfect pair of like dress pants, but you can wear them on an everyday basis and look way bomb. Also would not have been a haul without some tearaway pants. So I found the primary red with blue, navy, and white color tearaway. These are like everything and they're a size small so I might actually keep them. These pants, I have no idea what this is. I don't know if I should know what this is. They are these red and yellow pants. I thought these were so cool. Again, such threads obsessed pants. I had to get them. I couldn't leave them behind. I mean, anything with red and yellow, if I leave them behind, I feel like I'll get some sort of a curse. Obviously, had to have a pair of Tommy jeans in here and these ones are really cool because they're kind of like carpet carpenter jeans almost. They're very like big, oversized um, on the bottom, but I like it when they're rolled up a little bit more with a pair of boots. Perfect. It has the big logo on the back and then it also has the logo right here. Okay, I found some amazing overalls. I've been coming across so many overalls. I actually also have a pair of denim overalls here. found these bad boys, which are amazing corduroy brown type of taupe color. Overalls, like does it get any better than this? I'm not sure. I don't think so. These give me the most unifieds ever. They are these amazing plaid yellow and navy pants. I hope these fit. I haven't tried these on yet, but I think that they're so cool. Again, a couple more Kappa pieces that I have found. So these ones are very, like, these are like the OG Kappas. The Kappa print all down the leg, and then the green Kappa logo. And then I also love the green pocket on the back. They also have like the zipper thing right here, so it can kind of be like a little kick flare with the green there. And then these ones are are a little bit different. They're just kind of like typical pants. They have Kappa logo on each side. Again, some more plaid pants, but this time they are pink. So I found these amazing pink pant plaid pants. These are just so cool. They're actually originally by Nike. They do not look like Nike pants at all. Okay, and the last couple items that I found, this amazing plaid blue and white skirt. Like again, this just goes with my hair so nice. It's this cute mini skirt. This is definitely gives me such like 
Clueless Vibes. And this one right here is just a rainbow dream. It is actually, oh, I thought it was a skirt, but it's a skirt. This skirt, and it has like a rainbow stripe down each side. And the last thing that I have to show you guys is another pair of jeans. They have this beautiful embroidered flower on each side, and they're a little bit more wide leg, very high waisted mom jeans. Okay, moving on to the last section of this thrift haul, which is the accessory section, and then we will be completed. So, the first accessory that I have to show you guys is a set. This was actually brand new with tags and will be staying in my wardrobe. I found this amazing checkerboard hat, beanie hat with a pom-pom and then I also found the matching scarf with this. I literally was in heaven like does it get more perfect? So I have a couple bags to show you guys and they are pretty much all name brand bags. First one that I found was this authentic Moschino bag. I'm sorry this is perfect. I've been seeing a lot of other girls who thrift find the exact same bag so I'm guessing somebody might have like donated a bunch of them and I found this one. I love the big Moschino right on the front of it. I love how it's like not a crossbody bag into like mini bags and bags that you can carry like this and backpacks most of the time. So this is perfect for me and it's a plain black bag so it will never go out of style. The next bag is one that I have been on the hunt for the hottest minute. So I found this Dior mini bag, monogram mini bag. I'm not sure if it's authentic whatsoever, but it's just so cute. I had to pick it up regardless. I love the little Dior heart right there. I just thought this was so cool, and if it is authentic, then that is a big score. Okay, wait, pause. Melissa from the future, I forgot to show you guys this bag that I thrifted. How did I forget to show you guys this? It's because it was in my, like, it was on here because it's beautiful. Okay, I've been wanting one of these for so freaking long long and I finally found it at the thrift. It was new with tag. It kind of hurt me to rip off the tag because I knew it was like dead stock but honestly I was so freaking excited when I found this. Okay back to the future now. Go. So the last bag that I have to show you guys is definitely a Fucci bag. It is a fake Gucci bag probably. Um, I found this cross body Gucci bag. I just think it is so cool. I had to have it. I actually don't know if it's real or fake. It's just pretty beat up. So I was assuming that it's definitely fake. I thought it was just so cool. I love the monogram on it and I love love this in a Gucci bag like the green and the red stripe strap. So I had to pick it up. I mean for seven dollars you might as well look a little bougie on a budget. Oh, I forgot about this bag. So I found this, like, so cool. Purple fuzzy faux fur bag. Again, I, I'm i so obsessed with faux fur. So I found this bad boy. It is so cool. And it just, like, ee, it's so cute. I also have a hat. And it's one of those newsboy caps. This is one that will be staying in my wardrobe. It is just the perfect pattern. I love this pattern. And I love newsboy caps. It's so cute. Like, especially with my hair. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to wear this today. Okay. Okay, moving on to some shoes. <gasps> get any more perfect than these? Are you serious? Like, who gives these away? These are so fantastic. These may have been for a Halloween costume, but these will be in my everyday wardrobe. And they're my size. Like, done. I'm done. The next pair of shoes that I have to show you guys are some Fila sneakers. I actually personally found my own Fila sneakers, so I am set in that section. But then I found these the other day. I have like Fila all down like the side of them and the big Fila on the back. Actually, there's very similar ones being sold, like refurbished on like Urban Outfitters. If you're looking for a pair, you know where you know where to find them. I've been getting a lot of questions about this recently, and a lot of people have been asking me, is Ed Hardy back? <laughs> I've been picking up so much Ed Hardy stuff recently and a lot of people are like is it back like is that cool again but I am into it I am getting into it I'm not gonna lie I found this Ed Hardy belt and then I also found an Ed Hardy pair of shoes and an Ed Hardy top and I'm telling you guys it's coming back and I'm gonna make it happen because I think it's a bomb I've always loved Ed Hardy especially when I was in style I had the Ed Hardy hat I had it all I'm bringing it back so you know get your Ed Hardy tag me in your photos if you find some Ed Hardy art or pieces or whatever we're gonna end this haul on that fun fabulous note of my Ed Hardy collection so far I hope you guys enjoyed this haul make sure to check out my Depop for all of these amazing incredible pieces that I have showed you guys love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one peace